So in today's video, I'm gonna bring, bring you guys a new niche house that hasn't really talked about whatsoever from what I've seen, and that house is Herve Laurent. Now, I have three fragrances from this house we'll be discussing today, so let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, please hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to that notification bell and also be sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page. But that is correct guys, I'm bringing you a brand new niche fragrance house that I haven't seen anybody talk about, at least for the men's fragrances. When I did look it up on like YouTube, all I seen were women talking about this house. So I'm so excited to be talking about the men's fragrances to, for you guys. Now, like I said, I do have three from the house. The first one we're gonna be talking about is, first one I got is Bergamo. And this is from the Signature line. They have three lines, a Signature line. They also have the Bergamo line and the Trendy line. Now, the second one I have is a Fluent from the Signature line. And then the last one, the third one is Milano from the Bergamo line. Now, I do want to shout out Hervé Laurent for sending out all three of these fragrances for review. I do appreciate you guys and cannot wait to bring this house to you guys as well. Now, let's see here. The first one that we're going to be talking about is Bergamo. Now, I do want to go over some information. Like I said, this house is fairly new. And the retail price, it is pretty pricey. But we'll get to that pretty much why it is later on in the video. But the signature line, guys, they all retail for 480 bucks, all the way up to, a, I think, like $3,500 or $5,000 a bottle. So they do have some very pricey fragrances in their lineup. And the Vergamo line, which only come in 50 mils, by the way. And the signature, I think you either get them in 50 or only 100 mil. But these two are 100. And then this one is a 50 mil bottle. Now, you can get this line for, I believe, around 75 bucks. So if you just wanna like dive into the house, you don't wanna put out like almost 500 bucks for a fragrance, you can definitely check out the Bergamo line and we'll talk about if this line is worth it as well. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into the fragrances. All right, just before we do get into the fragrances, sorry about that, I do wanna show you guys the packaging and what you'll get with the lineup. So Pretty much the box that it comes in is sort of a simple cardboard box here, but it does actually look very, very neat. Of course, you have the Hervé Laurent house right there, the signature line, and then obviously the website where you can purchase it is HervéLaurent.com, which I'll leave down below, so make sure to check them out. Uh, nothing really, same thing on the back, sort of. Then on the top, you do have the TH or HL, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, I had it backwards. HL for Hervé Laurent in gold, which looks nice. And then on the sides, you do have Laurent, which actually looks very modern. I do like what they did with the black and white and then on the nice bold modern lettering on each side. So it does look very, very good. Now for the bottles, I think these bottles, they are somewhat simple, but they look very high quality, very prestigious, especially when they're shitting on yourself. But on the front, of course, you have the house, Hervé Laurent, the signature line right there. And by the way, guys, these are all extract to buff foam. So the highest concentration oils that money can buy pretty much when it comes to fragrances. So that is nice, they did that. That's probably another reason for the high price, of course. It does cost more money to put more oils in the fragrances. And then on the back, you do have the uh, the fragrance right there. And then some information, we'll read that when we talk about this fragrance. But yeah, let's go ahead and start off with Bergamo. So let me go ahead and read this on the back. It does say the Holy Grail. It says, Herbie Laurent Parfum is made for those of prestige and class, elegance and sophistication is what this remarkable fragrance embodies. Innovative pleasures for the senses, producing the finest for the finest. Now, I can definitely see that they stand by that quote right there. So let's go ahead and spray this and I'll tell you guys what I picked from Bergamo as far as the notes. Decent sprayer, it's not the best sprayer, but it is pretty solid and the cap does stay in place very snugly so you can't pick it up by the cap as well so let's go ahead and spray and smell this one wow this is definitely sophistication at its best with this now obviously with the name bergamo you're going to expect a bergamot dominant fragrance of course now 
I can tell you guys right now, as far as bergamot as a note, this has got to be one of the finest bergamot fragrances I've ever put my nose on, guys. Yeah, it smells so authentic, so natural, so juicy, so citrusy. It's in absolutely incredible. Yeah, you can definitely pick up on the bergamot. Now, usually when bergamot's used in a note, it's kind of like a um, a note that uplifts a fragrance and kind of makes it pop more, so to say. And it kind of blends in with a lot of other notes. But in this fragrance, the bergamot is in your face, punching you in the face, dominant. Yeah, it's straightforward with this fragrance, the bergamot. Now, I also get this like nice waxy kind of um, vibe going on with this fragrance, a little bit waxy. Yeah, but I can't get past that nice juicy bergamot, guys. If you like bergamot, you have to try bergamot. I'm telling you right now. And I can see the price tag now smelling this. Um, it does, like I said, smell very, very high quality, very natural. Of course, it says producing the finest for the finest. Now, when I smell this, I do smell luxury. I do smell natural ingredients. That's what I pick up from this fragrance. Now, out of the three, I'm telling you right now, this is one of my favorites out of the three. I can see myself wearing this one all the time in the spring and summer, not so much in the fall and winter, even though it actually does have the note of oud in the dry down. Also has like amber, vanilla, notes like that. It does kind of dry down to like a, a golden, woody kind of fragrance as the bergamot sort of disappears there. But it also has like a nice powdery iris, which I might be where the waxiness is coming from. Obviously iris kind of comes across like lipsticky, waxy, powdery, things of that nature. And that's what I get, like a waxy, lipsticky, Maybe not so much lipstick, but a little bit waxy iris in this fragrance alongside the bergamot, the oud wood and the dry down. Now the oud in this, it's not gonna be like your animalic, dirty, moldy oud. It's more of like a clean, yeah, like a clean oud with this one. And it just works incredible all combined together. You can definitely tell there's a lot of notes in this fragrance. I'm not sure who like the perfumer is of this one. I don't think they're listed on Fragrantica as of yet. Hopefully they will be listed at, in Fragrantica as it becomes more popular. But of course, like I said, it's a brand new starting niche company. So they're not gonna be listed there until further notice. So hopefully they do get there. And they actually do have quite a few fragrances in their line. So definitely check them out guys. Because from Bergamo, this is a, this is a good one. Let's move over to the next one now. All right, so the next one we're talking about is Affluent, also in their signature line, and this one is uh, Distinguished Gentleman. So I'm obviously gonna be expecting like a masculine gentleman, maybe classy fragrance with this one. So let's go and spray this, see what we get from Affluent. All right, put that down. Okay, let's see. All right, so that actually a very, very different one from the first one. Not getting any bergamot, nothing like that. What I'm actually getting from this one is a nice crisp apple in the opening. Yeah, nice apple, very sharp as well. I'm also getting some kind of florals in this. Almost like a bouquet of flowers, guys, like a bunch of different floral notes in this fragrance. I can't pinpoint exactly if it's gonna be like lavender, rose, things like that. But I'm also getting some kind of Nice creaminess to this as well. It might be vanilla. Wow, this one is actually, hmm, this is nice. Yeah, it is kind of come across very gentlemanly, kind of like um, like a formal kind of wearing fragrance. It's not as loud as Bergamo as far as that goes. Bergamo does kind of come off the skin more than a fluid. This one is more subtle. Yeah, more like 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 it says, sophisticated or what's it say? Um, distinguished gentleman. That describes this perfect, guys. Really distinguished gentleman fragrance with this. But yeah, you also get this like nice white clean musk in this as well. 
Very unique. I've never smelled anything quite like this opening in this fragrance. I believe in the dry down, you also get oud in here as well. They use a lot of oud, which is pretty cool because it's not like your, um, your typical like rose oud combos, for instance. What they're doing with their fragrances, they have these nice citrusy, clean fragrances, but with a base of oud. So I think that is very, very unique and cool. Since you, as you guys know, I love oud, but I love all kinds of oud. I, I like the uh, animalic ouds. I like the clean kind of soapy ouds, things like that. This one is definitely gonna be the clean and soapy ouds. No dirtiness at all. It seems like these people master, or this house masters in like um, citrusy, clean, sophisticated, prestigious fragrances. They all smell natural. I don't really pick up on many synthetics in this fragrance. Obviously like the, um, the uh, musk is gonna be synthetic because you can't use natural musk anymore, unfortunately. So obviously, yeah, that's gonna be a synthetic note, but when it comes to the citruses, even maybe the apple as well, it does smell very natural. This one also has a price tag of 480 bucks. Out of the two, out of the signature line, the bergamot and affluent, I think I do prefer, I don't know, I did at first prefer the bergamot, but smelling affluent now off this test strip, guys, this smells better than I remember, to be honest with you, when I first wore it. Wow. Now I'm kind of indecisive on which one I prefer. At first I preferred bergamot, but now I'm kind of feeling affluent. Hmm. That's, that's nice. That is nice. I'm actually just kind of surprised. Also an extract the buff foam. Now what's also cool about this, most of your like summer citrus dominant fragrances are gonna be like eau de toilettes, things like that. You don't really get high concentrated citrus summer fragrances, but with these guys, you're getting the highest oils of the highest with the extract the buff foam. So that is nice to have a very strong summer spring fragrance. And these things do last a long time. Definitely gets you through a whole work day and even plus as far as that goes. And also with the projection. Mmm. Yeah. This is unique. Very unique. Very masculine. I can see you wearing this one to maybe like um more formal events where you don't really want to like pop off the skin so much. You don't want to offend anybody. You just want to smell like a gentleman. You want to smell clean. You want to smell fresh. And you want to smell like luxury. That's when you're going to want to wear a fluent. So I love this one now, especially smelling off the test strip now. This is good. Let's go ahead and talk about the last one. All right, the last one we're checking out is Milano from the Bergamo line. And like I said, this one retails for 75 bucks for 50 mil. And for 75 bucks, guys, you're getting a 50 mil of extract to buff foam. So... Let's go ahead and spray this one. Now, I do want to apologize for my voice. I'm just getting over a cold. That's why I haven't really been recording. So just don't mind that. Hopefully it's not too bad, but let's go ahead and smell Milano. All right, surprisingly guys, this one was actually my favorite out of all three, even though it's the cheapest too, which is kind of crazy. That's why at least, if you guys are gonna try one of these, at least definitely try this one for 75 bucks, guys, just to get, in the, get into the house, experience the house, and then try the other ones as well, because I'm telling you guys, it's definitely worth it. This one here is very different. It is kind of coming across very minty, almost like a peppermint. It kind of reminds me of like the holidays, guys. Like Christmas time, which we're just going into now. And if you guys are just watching this now, yeah, we're going into almost Christmas time. So this might be my Christmas scent of the day. I just love this one. It gives me holiday vibes. You're gonna get like rosemary in here, some floral notes. You do get, I think cumin's listening here, which I'm not a huge fan of cumin. I don't really pick it up that much, but yeah, man. You also get like Gaiac wood in the dry down. It does kind of have like a leathery vibe to it from the Gaiac wood. You also get oud in here as well. Now all the ouds from all three the, it is pretty, I think it's probably using the same oud oil in all three of them because they all smoke very, very similar with the oud note. Very clean, soapy oud. 
and woody as well. You do get like a nice woody dry down with these as well too. But I'm telling you, man, all three of these are just so unique. I have over 150 so bottles and I have nothing that smells quite like this or even smelling anything like these as well. I'm definitely a fan of Milano, guys. Like I said, minty, peppermint kind of vibe in the opening. At least that's what I pick up on. I'm not quite sure what's given in that. I don't think mint is actually listed as a note. I just, maybe all the notes combined together. That's what I pick up on from my nose. But yeah, this one is good. Like I said, probably my favorite out of all three of them. If I were to rate these, uh, obviously I'm kind of confused about Affluent now. Because Affluent is actually incredible. Smelling off the test room. Bergamot is, uh, Bergamot is incredible as well. It's hard to say. Very hard to say. But all I can say, guys, if you just want to get into the house, since it's new, obviously, to test them out or so, definitely check out Milano. For 75 bucks, you get this nice extract to puff foam, 50 ml bottle, incredible performance, natural smelling. Yeah. And like I said, this might even be my signature of the day on Christmas. That's how much I like this stuff. I love fragrances that give you like holiday vibes. And I am also getting maybe like patchouli in here as well, like a greenness to it. Yeah, definitely good. Pretty shocked. I can't wait to try other offerings from the house. I'm very curious now to smell all three. I think they have probably like 20 or so men's fragrances or even more, I'm not sure. They do have quite a bit, but that's pretty much gonna wrap up my overview of Hervé Laurent and the three fragrances I have. Definitely leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below if, you, if you're gonna pick up on any of these. I'm definitely curious on which one you decide to pick up on. And also, if you guys ever heard of this house or tried the house, which I'm probably sure you guys haven't, but if you have, let me know down below as well. Curious about that. But leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll catch all you guys in the next fragrance upload. Take care, everybody.